done here. Hey guys. So after uh, two hours of uh, driving, we are here in the Harrison Mills called Weaver Creek. Yeah. And it's a pretty long drive, but it's beautiful. No complaints. Yeah. Honestly, no complaints. Like, We're so stimulated like by the beauty of Canada. Yeah, the trees the and fall. the falls. So beautiful. Yeah, now I'm going to show you another amazing scene. And it's, tons of people are here. Yeah, so this is basically called Weaver Creek. It's, a, it's like a salmon hatchery facility. And uh, you can see salmons like jumping and all kinds of stuff. Let me quickly show you guys. A lot of people here. actually quite big uh, we are just near the end of it on uh, the end of this water uh, yeah, water water channel it's basically it winds left to two right if you can see it it's like winds quite yeah, a bit like, like going zigzag. zigzag all over at the end and we're just near the end and uh, this is a facility doing this to enhance the, um, the salmon population basically the Pacific salmon population has been uh, decreasing the last couple years and um, Millions of salmons coming back to spawn every every year. And 2018, we're lucky that uh, this is actually a big salmon uh, spawning yeah. year. So I think every four years, it's like a big year. Yeah, the next one will be 2022. 20, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's it's a pretty cool sight that you can yeah. see all the salmon's like coming back to spawn, and they get a little bit aggressive. I mean, it's near the. It's at the uh, mating season. That's what it's the whole purpose of for salmon to come back to spawn eggs in the uh, their where they are born. Yeah. And uh, it's so pretty amazing. It's a pretty. pretty it's a pretty amazing journey how salmon just like when they when they born to be a baby, and then they go to the ocean after s probably five to seven years. They coming yeah. back to spawn. That's the whole cycle of salmon. Yeah. And with this kind of facility near the Pacific o uh, Ocean. They actually really increased the salmon population. Yeah. Um, they, the, remember, we yeah, read something we read about. We in the Capilano River that in the, in the wild, when the salmon lays eggs, they lay hundreds of eggs and only like six of them will survive. Yeah. But when they. Um, 40. Yeah, when they. No, I think it's like 200 survive. Yeah, to every every 10,000 eggs. Yeah, when they control it, they save like 200 um, eggs. Yeah, like every every 10,000 eggs, like a baby, baby salmon, they were about. Uh, 200 like will that. become adults and back to, to spawn so that really increased the entire uh, salmon ecosystem mm -hmm. so I love how this is you know it's this facility really uh, enhanced the uh, salmon population yeah and uh, there's quite a few like uh, species like I see uh, Chinook and uh, Pacific salmon the sockeye the coho so which, and ones, he, which ones are the red ones the red ones are sockeye and oh. then uh, in uh, uh, Adams River, which has the biggest, the largest BC uh, salmon run, and uh, this is like probably the second biggest one, where you can see big, like large amounts of salmon coming back to the ocean, uh, coming back to the, the uh, to the river. Yeah. So, uh, pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, pretty incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Danny came a few years ago. Yeah. But 
yeah if you guys are in bc and it happens to be late october early november definitely come check out a salmon run there's quite a few locations across bc that do have it even north van has capilano river um, but yeah we came to harrison mills area just because it is the biggest one that's closest to us so for sure yeah pretty amazing eh yeah so, so we're gonna i guess we're gonna keep walking keep, yeah checking it out and, and uh there's you know, winding down is a quite a few a ways away, so we're gonna yeah. show you the entire facility. Yeah, hopefully and we'll see some salmon jumping over. Yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. We uh, yeah. we we will be happy to answer any questions or how to get this place. This place is kind of actually a kind of uh, discreet. Uh, it's not easy to find, mm. but if you um, keep going, you will be able to find where you should where the place is, the Weaver yeah. Creek. So, yeah. all right, see you guys. Salmon eggs require cool, clean water, high in dissolved oxygen. So silk can block oxygen transport to the eggs and must therefore be removed from the spawning channel at regular intervals. So basically what it means is like uh, here, they, they try to make this wa water channel more oxidated for the uh, um, yeah, for the salmon eggs to grow. Yeah. Uh, that, that's what it is, right? Yeah. So you will see. See, this is the gravel cleaner, and over there you will see where well, those channels are all equipped with those gravel cleaner, where it's, yeah. it pumps with all the oxygen in the water. Nice. Yeah. So guys, here's the end of our trip. And uh, flower drone has some underwater GoPro shots, pretty amazing stuff. And uh, it's a lot of, uh, um, learn uh, quite a bit seeing yeah. those uh, billboards, just uh, um, showing people life cycle of Pacific salmon. Started eggs, alevins, fries, small adult, and spawners. So today we saw the spawners. Yeah, it's pretty interesting and it's a beautiful day so people are gathered here to and there are actually a lot of kids are doing field trip. I think it's very, yeah. very cool. In the next couple of years down the road, maybe we'll have kids and we're going to bring our kids here too. And sure. it's going to be a very uh, excitement, too much, so much excitement for them too. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a couple of things about the Samurai. 
please subscribe our channel so I can take you along with our journey. We have more things coming up in the future. Give thumbs up if you like the video. Peace.